There's a couple ways to check piston valve clearance. There's the clay method, which most people are familiar with. Uh, I prefer the dial indicator method. It's a much more accurate method to determine what your true piston valve clearance is. Um, we've installed a test spring. Uh, you cannot check piston valve clearance with a normal spring installed because it'll collapse the lifter plunger and you get a false reading. We've got a, a lifter that actually has oil in it. It doesn't move. So we'll tighten the rocker arm until the indicator just barely moves. And that's zero last zero preload. We've got our indicator on zero. We can then turn the engine to TDC and check our piston valve clearance at that point. So our indicator reads about 80. We depress it, you can see it moves about 60 thousandths. So we have about 60 thousandths piston valve clearance at top dead center. Now minimum piston valve clearance normally occurs six to 10 degrees after top dead center. So we'll turn the crank to six degrees after top dead center and we'll check our piston valve clearance there. It moves about 35 thousandths. Then we'll rotate the crank to eight degrees after top dead center on about 25. We depress it, you can see it goes to about negative seven, which is a total of about 32 thousandths. Then we'll rotate the crank 10 degrees after top dead center, we depress it, so that's a total of 33 thousandths. So you can see that our minimum piston valve clearance occurred about eight degrees after top dead center for a total of 32 thousandths.